Okay, Scorpio, welcome to your tarot card reading. Um, this is for Scorpio sun, moon, or rising. If you have those placements in your chart, there may be a message here for you. This is going to be a timeless reading. So whenever this message comes on your timeline and you see it, if you're guided to watch it, then there may be a message here for you as well. So I'm going to start off by letting everyone know everything that you need to know about what I offer, personal readings, healing sessions, my Patreon is all in the description box. Okay, so go ahead and check out the information in the description for more um, info. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to start with your current energy. Okay. So let's get the current energy for Scorpio. Let's see where you guys are right now. Okay. You're definitely facing some challenges. Um, going after, going after something, going after something, learning something new, and but facing some challenges getting there. You might be faces, facing some challenges at work, facing some challenging challenges with your peers, just overall um, crabs in the barrel type thing, or people might be talking about you and um, trying to hold you down or keep you down. Um, but I don't really feel, I don't get the energy like that is really going to stop you and stop you in any way that's just something that you're dealing with right now the knight of swords and the page of swords though are really stand out to me are really key i feel like you are definitely going after um going after something um but and at the same time trying to expand your knowledge start something new maybe take some classes um Take some classes, learning things online, um, getting information, downloads, spirit downloads, because at the bottom of the deck here, we have the high priestess. So, so some of, a lot of you, Scorpio, you guys are highly intuitive anyway, so um, it's not surprising that the high priestess would be hanging around for you, um, but some of you are, your intuition is really kicking into high gear is what I'm getting kicking into high gear all right um your intuition is heightened right now and you're being advised to really follow it okay follow all the nudges follow all the downloads all the ideas and um you know and you know, get into more of your spiritual practices. I'm getting spiritual practices. Um, if some of you um, meditate, you know, um, get into your crystals, get into your positive affirmations, journaling, or any spiritual practice that resonates with you, that makes you comfortable, that really raises your vibration. I'm really getting that you guys really need to start or get back into or whatever the case may be. But um, spiritual practices and your heightened intuition is really being, um, is really key right now for you. Okay. So let's look into what is coming towards you. The energy that's coming towards you. Oh, two of cups. Some of you might be having some sort of romantic interest happening or some sort of union. We have the Wheel of Fortune, which is always good. Some fortune coming your way, some predestined events, some divinely timed destined events coming your way that's going to bring you um, some fortune. Oh, two cards came out, so I'll take those. What's coming towards you, the King of Swords. This might represent someone. And then the Queen of Cups representing someone as well, or that could be you. Um, again, intuition very, very heightened. Um, 
Okay, a very watery, very dreamy, very intuitive feeling I have for you right now, Scorpio. Some of you are, some of you are gifted. Some of you are really, really, really gifted. Okay, and I feel like your gifts are coming in. Um, yeah, and it's destined. It's destined. This is what the wheel is talking about. It's destined. You, some of you are, are very gifted spiritually, and um, it is destined for you, and it's going to be coming in. Your gifts are going to be leveling up. Some of you might be clairvoyant or clairaudient and um or any other clairs out there clairsentient um and i feel like your gifts are going to be expanding you're going to be connecting with your team a lot more collecting connecting with your guardian angel your higher self there's definitely a union coming in but i really feel like it's more of a spiritual union you connecting with your guides a lot more you know them stepping forward for you even more so than they have in the past because you are tapping into something okay scorpio you're tapping in you're tapping in even though you you even if you feel like you're not even if you're not aware of it you are tapped in okay and these gifts are expanding for you your gifts are expanding and it's destined it's your destiny it's supposed to happen all right Hmm. Let's see what the possible outcomes are coming towards you. Possible outcomes for Scorpio. Let's get some possible outcomes for Scorpio. Three of Wands, Expansion, The Hermit, Soul Searching, Shadow Work, and then we have The Fool new adventures um what is i gonna say throwing caution to the wind new adventures taking a leap of faith so your possible outcomes are looking really good you are looking to looking out at the seeds that you've planted the things that you want for yourself um looking out at the work that you've done so far, okay? Um, this is just a three card, so you're not at the end, but you've done some work so far, and you're looking out to see the fruits of your labor. You're expecting some a little bit of rewards. You're expecting, um, um, you know, to see the, the seeds bud a little bit, okay? And... Um, so that's what that's a possible outcome. You know, your the the seeds that you've planted coming into fruition. Okay, the hermit card. The hermit card here is talking about soul searching. You know, so some of you are going to be doing quite a bit of soul searching as your gifts expand more. You're going to be a lot more introspective and a lot more like looking within. OK, looking, doing shadow work and really trying to understand the changes that are happening with yourself and, you know, like within you and trying to figure out how to navigate all of this, ex these expansive gifts that you're that you're um, getting. And it's going to be a new adventure for you. It's going to be like a whole new adventure, um, obviously, that you're going to be embarking on. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this this indicates um, someone in your life. This represents someone who might be coming in, giving you advice, mentoring you, guiding you, helping you along this path, along this journey, along all of this new, these new things, this, you know, expansion, spiritual gifts, connecting with your guides, you know, even the challenges here up top that you're currently facing. I feel like this queen of pentacles is someone in your life who is just, 
there for you to guide you and offer you advice all right we're gonna get some clarifiers let's clarify this entire spread for scorpio clarify this entire spread and let's get three cards to kind of sum up all of this information the sun yes we like it the four of swords we like it and the moon again oh no did the moon come out for you no that was another reading okay so we have the sun and the moon okay which is very telling you know these two cards are kind of like opposite <laughs> but um and the four of swords which um indicates taking some time to rest for yourself some relaxation some rejuvenation to recharge and the moon talks about um things in the dark things in the dark that that are going to be coming into light for you and i feel like this has a lot to do with you know you going within and your soul searching and the shadow work that um i feel like is coming is a possible outcome for you you're going to be going on a whole new journey um scorpio and this journey is really significant in the sense that I feel like if your your spiritual gifts for those of you this resonates for are really really going to open up all right and it's going to be and it's really going to illuminate you once you learn how to navigate them and um, you're settled in them and comfortable and you really step into your power it's really going to be of a great illumination for you you're it's really going to open you up open up your heart chakra it's really going to provide a lot of healing and especially inner child healing the sun the sun card can really indicate a uh, inner child healing as well so um yeah i'm going to pull an oracle card for you let's see I'm gonna put. I'm gonna pull. Uh, I'll work your light oracle card for you, and see what the work your light has to say. Oop, this flipped over. This card. Align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change, Scorpio? Think about the things that um, that you have going on in your life right now, the challenges, um, the things that you're going after, the things that you want to do. Maybe I feel like some of you want to go back to school. Um, you know, the some of you want to expand your knowledge in some sort of way. Think about all of these things that you have going on in your life. What is not aligned and what needs to change? Okay, because a lot of times we want to hold on to things and situations and peoples and even thought processes that we've had for so, so long and that we don't realize that are not allowing us to move forward. And it could be as simple as just being more patient being more understanding, being more loving, moving in, in love a little bit more. So think about the things and um, think about what's not aligning with you anymore and what you feel like you need to change and um, take steps in changing it. Take steps in changing it and making taking the steps to align, to only accept things that you align with yeah all right scoprio that is your reading i really hope that it supported you in any way that you needed support um go ahead in the description box and you can find out all the information that you need to know about my patreon and the personal healing services that i offer and go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.